I have James and Elias. They're both in the master's program, and their project is their court. Can you tell us about your project and your clinical advisors? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Oh, you're going to hold it? Okay. All right. Thanks, Mary Beth. So I guess to start off, we'll start off with a problem. So cord blood today is collected because it's a rich source of stem cells, and these stem cells are used to treat over 70 diseases such as leukemia, lymphoma, myeloma, and et cetera. But today, the methods to collect these cells fail 60% of the time. Basically, they don't get enough cells in them to be clinically relevant. So what this means is that half the time, the banks are throwing these money-making sources of cells out. And in addition, the number of, or the units they collect today only have enough cells in them to be used on pediatric cases and can't be used on adults, which in the case of all these blood disorders that I mentioned before, that represents 95% of the patient population. So basically the use of cord blood has been limited in its infancy and during the early stages of this industry because the collection process is the bottleneck holding it back. So what our device does, the CBX system, is optimize that process, allowing you to maximize the collection of stem cells from the cord blood or from the umbilical cord and the placenta. So what this means is by providing more stem cells, not only are you able to eliminate the current waste with the collection procedure today, but you're also able to expand the use of cord blood to the vast majority of patients that can benefit from it, the adult patients. And who is your advisor, a clinical advisor on the project? So we have uh, Dr. Edith Gerwich. She actually identified the need over the summer and has been working with our team ever since to develop the technology. And she's really helped us out in kind of understanding the labor and delivery workflow and how to uh, make this device, you know, an enabling technology to allow all hospital staff provide this service for expecting mothers and for cord blood banks. So she's been extremely helpful in like getting us into labor and delivery, getting us access to placentas, and getting us that OB perspective on this uh, clinical need that we feel if we can solve will make a tremendous impact to you know not only uh, transplant patients but for future regenerative therapies as these clinical trials pan out that you know it could possibly treat diabetes, Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. So we think that she kind of knew what uh, uh, what was on the horizon gave us this uh, need to pursue and, you know, digging deep into it, we realized there's a tremendous need right now, but also in the future we think we're on to, you know, something that will really, you know, improve the lives of patients. You two are both going to graduate uh, in about two weeks with the master's program. Um, can you sum up in one word what your year was like in CPIG? Well, I don't want to get, sound cliche, so I won't say novel, but new. I mean, new experiences. I, I just say wow, wow. It was just intense, remarkable, challenging, and just That's looking. More than one word, Elias. I know, but I you can't describe this even in one word. It's 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 too. There it's just That's so, right we've accomplished so much in this year from first you know getting getting those initial you know orientation meetings and learning, meeting all the physicians and going to the ORs for the first time you know and scrubbing up to you know going to Nepal and uh, you know seeing these healthcare posts to you know va like doing extensive research on these market needs and understanding the customers and the business model and just everything we've learned is just mind-blowing looking back at it and just how much we've accomplished. It's incredible. I mean, the program has been incredibly supportive of us and just has kept pushing us and guiding us. And I just feel like we've, we've done incredible things and there's just only better things to come.